I started this journey since like 2016. Um, that's when I fought up. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So today's video is a very exciting one because I'm going to be sharing with you my luxury bag collection. Well, this whole journey started in 2016 when I bought my first ever designer bag. Now, it kickstarted and sparked something inside of me as if I wasn't already in love with luxury bags. So um, I'm going to be sharing with you the few pieces that I've collected from that time until now. So yeah, like if this is something that you love to watch on YouTube, then th this one's for you. But um, if this is not your jam, you know, and you don't really like luxury bag videos, then um, I have other videos that you can watch. But yeah, um, oh, before we move on to uh, the video, I just want to say we have passed more than 100 subscribers. So you know, that really means a lot to me because it means that 114 of you find some kind of entertainment watching my videos and you see a lot of potential in me. So yeah, like, you know, that means a lot. So I'm going to give back and I'll be doing a giveaway, which um, I'll be explaining more into detail at the end of the video. But all the rules and stuff will be um, described in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, without further ado, let's start into the video. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to show you the bags in chronological orders as to like when I purchased it. So the first bag that I ever bought is my Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch. Now, this is in the monogram print, so um, it has the, the raw um, leather, so it does patina, so that means that it does like oxidize and get darker over time, so it's very sensitive to like oils and stuff, so it's very um, sensitive to that, so you have to like really take care of it when you do have like the monogram, and um, this has like the gold hardware here that says like Louis Vuitton, which is a really nice like touch to it. And um, yeah, this just has like one zipper compartment. Um, there's no other like mini pockets or um, compartments inside. It's just this one thing here. And it does have like a gold chain like right across, which you can actually detach to one like from one side and you can connect it to the other side for like if you want it to um if you wanted to wear it as like a wristlet you can totally do that and um so it has like a long strap for if you want to wear it cross body you know you can totally do that and also um if you keep the chain like um, the, like worn like this, you can wear it as like a shoulder bag, you know, so if you like that like 90s shoulder bag look, you can totally do that with this. So this is very, very versatile. You can wear it in like multiple ways, which is a plus because um, you can get a lot of wear out of this. So um, yeah, um, I can fit in like my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet plus my six key uh, holder and like my phone and like my lip gloss and stuff like very comfortably in here so just for reference if you're wondering how much stuff can fit in here um yeah i can fit all those things in here so um i got this in 2016 for like 1200 dollars with tax uh canadian dollars and um this is no longer available so it can't be purchased anymore so that's one reason why i won't ever be selling this and the second reason is for sentimental values you know this is my first bag so yeah i won't be selling this at all so this is my louis vuitton eva clutch all right so the next bag that i purchased is my gucci marmont metalis um bag 
and it just has that chevron like pattern and it's in the soft like shiny leather um and it just has this like gold chain detail here and then it's the rest is like leather and um it's also adjustable which is a plus you know i adjusted it to the shortest one because i am a shorter girl so i don't want it to sit like too low um when i wear it cross body and it does have this really like you know their iconic gucci um logo which i like and it's in gold hardware also at the back it does have the gucci symbol like embedded to it which you can actually um if you want this one to show you can actually wear that like um you know to show more and or this one you can choose which one you like so that's what i like about that and um on the zipper it just has like a leather um tassel not really a tassel but like a attachment to it and so inside you just have like um like one small pocket here that you can put like maybe um like cards or whatever you want to put in here to lip gloss or whatnot in here and the rest is just um yeah one big compartment where you can put your stuff and this might look small but this actually stretches out and it does fit a lot of things like i've actually put in my louis vuitton um cosmetic pouch the small one in here plus my wallet plus my six key holder plus my phone so if you can just imagine that like this does fit a lot so this is like really good for every day you know because it's not too dressy and it's not too like casual either you know so yeah that's why i really wanted this because i didn't have like um a black bag that i can wear for every day so that's why i went with this one so yeah and i got this for i think with tax it was like sixteen hundred dollars there about canadian dollars um and i got this in like 2017 yeah so this is my gucci marmont metales uh, crossbody bag all right so the next bag that i purchased is my louis vuitton speedy bag um in the size 25 and this is a bandolier so it has the strap and i got this around like christmas time um in 2018 so yeah like about two years ago now i got this and you probably have seen this in what's in my bag so this is what i like to use like for every day and just because it's like you know with a, a bigger bag and it can fit more things inside so this is in the damier it bin print so it's like the brown and dark brown checkered print and the reason why i got the speedy in this print is because it has a treated leather so that means it doesn't patina um and it's not as like um what's it called it's not like sensitive to oils and stuff so you can literally like just you know have as much lotion and oil as you have like on your hands and it won't like uh, alter the um the leather and when i got this like the strap was a little bit like stiff at first but now it's like softened over time so um yeah and it does come with like a lock which I just put in here and inside so there's a big compartment here where like I said it's like a black hole <laughs> and inside is like um a red interior lining which is just really nice against this um colored print and there's just one little tiny pocket here that maybe you can put like change or whatever and I just keep like the little pouch with a key to the lock in here. Um, nothing else in here really because I don't want it to um, like weigh it down too much. And yeah, like this is perfect for like an everyday bag, which is what I use it for. And I got this for like 1900 like really 
close to two thousand dollars Canadian um, when I got it so two years ago that was the price and I know um, the prices have probably increased but that's how much I got it for and yeah so this is my Louis Han Speedy Bandolier in the size 25 all right so the next bag I'm gonna show you I got this one about last year 2019 um, close to like April, May, um, and I got it for my birthday. So it's the Fendi Can I um, bag, and it's in like an off-white cream um, leather. And I got this from Fashion File for like $2,200 Canadian. So, and this is pre-loved obviously if you get it from Fashion File, but it was in like brand new, brand new condition when I bought it. So whoever owned this before never wore it because as you can tell, like if you have like a white um, purse, it gets, you know, dirty easily. And inside is like, like a suede lining as well. So you can really tell like if there's any wear in it, but it was like untouched, like no signs of stain or um like wear inside so this is pretty much brand new so it has gold um hardware on it which i love gold so it has you know the gold chain strap which just adds um like some looks and elegance to the bag and you can also like shorten it to if you want that like um shoulder bag look again so you can definitely do that and in the front you just have like a gold and as well like a um, silver uh, closure and you press the button here to like open up the bag and then when you open it the style inside is like kind of like an accordion so if you look on the side there's like two compartments here and um yeah, this is like a little pocket at the back where you can put a card or whatnot and then two separate um, compartments here so you can put like your wallet and your keys on one and then um, maybe your necessities like your my first aid kit or whatever that I can put in here. It is a smaller bag so you can't really fit too much stuff in here but this bag is more for like um, elegant um, vibes. So like if you go out and get dressed up with your friends and you just want to, you know, look more dressy, this is the kind of bag for that, not really for every day. So yeah, and it just has like the Fendi um, pattern em embedded onto the leather of the flap which is a really nice um, detail on it and as well it has like extra like hoops here where you can attach like maybe a charm or even like an extra strap that you um that you have to maybe like um shorten it or like m maybe wear it like top handle if you want to purchase that extra strap you have that option with this one so this one is pretty versatile as well and I like that the chain has a leather here so it doesn't make it like uncomfortable for you to wear it on your shoulders because I know when it's like all chain it might dig into your skin but this one has the leather so it definitely makes it more comfortable. So yeah, this is my um, Fendi Can I um, bag. Alright, so my next bag is another Louis Vuitton and I purchased this last year like um, in September when I went to Italy so that's where I bought it. So the next bag is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the Damier Ebin print which like I said has the um, brown and dark brown checkered print with a treated leather and one reason why I went for this print um, in this bag is because I didn't um, want the rawhide leather like all around here and here as well because like I said the, um, the monogram patinas like the leather patinas so it gets darker and it's really sensitive sensitive to the oils 
So it's very high maintenance and I didn't really want to have to worry about um, the aging of the leather with my bag. So that's why I went with the Damier Bean. It's more carefree, so yeah. And it has a top handle bag like this and it has a detachable strap where you can wear this um, bag cross body which is a really nice addition so you can wear it like you know both ways and makes it more versatile and it has gold hardware like most of the Louis Vuittons and it has a gold lock as well and um, it came with this like leather um, tassel kind of bell here where the key is inside here to um, open up this uh, this lock and so it has a special shape it's like a dome kind of shape so you can't fit a lot of stuff inside just because of the shape that it has um, but um, yeah like it's more classy to me um, I don't really wear this for every day just because um, of the of the what of the <laughs> just because it's yeah like I said it's more like structured it's more classy so because I get that vibe like I want to like use this for more like um, special occasions or whatnot. So feature wise, there's like a zipper that goes all the way down on each side. There's two of them. And inside, like what all the Damier Bean print has, it has like the red interior. And there's a little pocket right here where you can put cards. And I just left like the Louis Vuitton um, cowhide leather lining like certificate or whatever here. And um yeah that's really it like i like to wear this um sometimes open when i have more things inside just because you know it gets harder to close when you when it's more filled so yeah it's just uh a cute bag and yeah so this is my Louis Vuitton elma bb in a damier bean and i got this for how much did i get this for like Thirteen hundred dollars because I got this in Italy. I got it for a cheaper price, so that's even with like the VAT, and I got like some money back as well. Um, so way cheaper than getting it here because if I got it here, it would have been like eighteen eighteen hundred to like nineteen hundred with tax. So I really saved a lot of money getting it in Italy. So you know. I knew I had to buy a bag when I go to Europe, so this is why I got this one because I've had my eye on this for a while. So, yeah. All right, so the next bag um, I got maybe like two months ago. Yeah, um, this is a pre-loved item, so I'll show you first. It's the Dior, oh, what is this? Trotter print, but in black. Um, this is a vintage piece. So this was actually from like the 1980s. So it's been through a lot, but it's kept in a really good shape. And I got this from Vestiaire Collective um, website. And they're a really good site to like get a lot of vintage pieces. They have a lot of um, variety of bags. And um, this one is specifically from Paris. So the person who owned it um, is from Paris. So um, it just has like um, a gold um, detail here that says Dior and it has a flap like closure and the overall print it's um, it's canvas. So it has that like iconic like Dior print. You can't really see it, but um, here I'll show you close up. Yeah, like it just has a Dior um, logo embedded and I think that's called the Trotter print. So that's what it is in black and it has a leather trim and inside is all leather. So here is all leather and then here it's canvas and it has a gold um, strap with it that you can 
shorten for like if you want it more shoulder bag so I'll show you um, so you can do it like this you can wear it like that so yeah there's not much to it it's like it's more like a going out bag a clutch kind of thing um, it has a zipper inside here where you can put um, like lip gloss and cards or whatnot here and it does have the gold um dior logo and yeah that's really it and how i like to usually wear this is like under my arm like this like as a clutch and i just think that's really like chic and classy you know so yeah this is the last piece that i bought and this is my Dior Trotter Print Vintage Bag, so, yeah. And I got this for, like, $600 Canadian, with, like, tax and shipping and stuff. So that's such a steal for Dior, and it was kept in really good shape, so I think that's a really good price for that. Um, let's just get into the giveaway um, details. So... Um, I'll, first I'll show you like the prize that I'm gonna be giving and then the rules. So, um, I'll be giving away this, um, pouch that I got from H&M and I also have one myself. It's just really nice for like a toiletry bag or maybe when you're traveling to keep all your like, um, skincare and stuff in here or makeup. So I included that here and inside you're gonna get some like makeup goodies. So I included the e.l.f. Total's face sponge, which I've been loving. I also have one, and this is the sponge that I've been using a lot every day when I do my makeup, so I included that. And then I included the e.l.f. Wow Brow in Deep Brown. It's the Gel Volume Fiber Mas not Mascara um, Eyebrow Volumizer. So I put that in here, and I've this is like one of my favorites and go-to product for my brows um, so I included that in there and as well as the elf poreless putty primer and if you saw like my birthday get ready with me I actually use that in there and this is a really good product for um, you know making you look poreless and I do have like big pores here and it did like um, fill that in a lot and blur it so because I've been loving it, I decided to include that in here. So I'll be including the e.l.f. Matte Setting Powder. Um, I've been really loving this to like set my T-zone because during the summertime I do get oily and I've been wearing this a lot and I've actually been asked like, oh, like what do you use to as to why like my face stayed matte like all day even though like it's so hot outside and yeah, so... This is a uh, one of my favorites, so I'm including this one as well. And this one is in the shade light, but I'll be giving away medium. And the next one is um, Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette. Uh, I'll just quickly open it to show you the colors inside. So it's this like nice palette with like warm brown and burgundy. And yeah, so I've been loving Natasha Denona palettes, so I included this in there. And I just decided to throw in like the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. I've used this um, before, I got a sample size and I've, I really loved it, so I decided to put that in there. And a deluxe size of the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. Now if you saw my previous video of like the radiant bronzy look, I used this one and I love it. So I decided to put that in here. And the last thing that um, I'm including is an airbrush bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. Now whoever the winner is, I'll be contacting you with like what shade you want. So you get to choose. So I don't have one physically like on me right now. This one's mine, but um, yeah, you get to choose. So 
that's what I included in the giveaway. All right, so for the details of the rules for this giveaway um, to enter, you need to be one, obviously, um, be subscribed to me and hit that notification bell. Two, don't forget to like this video. And three, um, please do follow me on Instagram. And when you're done doing all that, please do comment um, down below stating done and leave um, your contact information, whether it be your email or your Instagram, so that I can contact you in case you do win. And yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye. So for today's video, okay, wait, 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 no, no, no. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing. Oh, okay, mom. <laughs> I started this journey since like 2016. Um, that's when I fought. Uh, fought. <laughs> like, I don't have a large amount of, you know, luxury bags, but yeah, regardless, I just. <laughs> no, I don't know what to say. <laughs>